Tonight, on Nancy Drew, the mystery of Pirate's Cove. into a souffle and be done with it. George, you say something? Your mistake was to become friends. It's the wrong approach. She thinks of you as a big brother. If you want my advice, you should... You think I'm hung up on Nancy? I work for her father. With Mr. Drew out of town, I... I just feel responsible, that's all. Then why are your glasses all fogged up? Very funny. <laughs> Go on the way you're going and, uh... Somebody else will always be taking her for moonlit rides. Nancy's not interested in any moonlit rides. She's a very serious-minded girl. Brandon's going to show me his new ski boat. You guys want to come? Uh, ski boat? Well, I, uh, it's too cold. I... Well, it's a big moon. With any luck, we should be able to spot a few fine fish. Uh, well, what about your guest, Brandon? I mean, it's your party. We'll be back before we're missed. Uh, well, I really don't think oh, I... we wouldn't miss it. Let's go. It's dead. Let's keep going. They're uh, usually all over the sky by the old lighthouse. Now, wait. This isn't the first one I've seen. I thought I saw one back there, and it looked dead, too. Maybe they flew onto the side of the cliff. You mean they really fly? Oh, sometimes 30 or 40 feet. Wow. Dad, look. There's dozens of them. Can you reach one? Look at that. It's limp. Well, death does that to you. Only when it's recent. Otherwise, it'd be stiff as a board. Look at that wingspan. Wow, they really fly. Pirates used to think of them as good luck. If you saw one, you were on your way to a fortune. What if you saw a dead one? Your ship sank. Fish are dead, Brandon. Let's go home. We just got here. Let's go over to the old lighthouse. Oh, no. That place gives me the creeps. It's deserted. No, it's not. Of course it is. Has been for years. Father represents the land it's on. I handle the account. Well, how are you going to handle that? Somebody's in there. Hey, that's private property. Come on, let's go. Well, we can't land it. There's too many rocks. Well, head back to your house, Brandon. We'll call the sheriff. I think we got ourselves some vandals, gang. <laughs> You 
call the sheriff, Brandon. We're gonna drive out to the lighthouse. Hey, wh wh what about me? I'll tell you all about it tomorrow. Great party, Brandon. Come on, Nance. <laughs> Thanks for the ride, Brandon. It was a great party. Yeah, no, Brandon, great party. Bye-bye. Well, wait a minute. Good evening, Sheriff. Morning's more like it. All right, what's all this nonsense about vandals? Well, uh, we all saw a light coming out of the tower. Oh. Only there's a problem. What's that? Come have a look. This lock ain't been off of here in years. We all saw the light. Oh, you did, huh? That's right, Sheriff, we did. Let me show you something. But... You come with me. Now, I want you all to notice this tower is built of brick and mortar. Does everybody see that? Yeah, we all oh. see. Further, I want you to see. There is no place on that tower where anybody could climb up to those windows. Sure. Further, none of the windows seems to be busted. So, even if a body could fly, there'd be no way for him to get inside once he was up there. We all together so far? Yes, sure. So, I don't see any way that anybody could possibly have been inside that tower for the past five years to be fooling around with the light. Unless we happen to be talking about a ghost. <laughs> We're not talking about a ghost, are we? We saw a light. You saw a light up there, all right. The light was the moon, reflecting off the glass windows. Well, maybe we could take the lock off, go inside and look around. You do what you like. Your father manages the property. But you wait until morning, OK? Okay. Thanks for coming out, Sheriff. My job. But I prefer to do it in civilized hours. Well, I, uh, I guess that's that. You going home? Yeah. Well, what do you expect me to do? Well, what does she expect me to do? I don't get you two. We were obviously mistaken. Unless you're willing to tell me you think it was a ghost. Nobody to meet me at the airport. Where were you? And where's Nancy? I've been looking for her, too. Why? What's wrong? Well, nothing's wrong. Exactly. What's that mean? Nothing's wrong exactly. Well, you know the sale of the lighthouse property. Yes. What's the lighthouse got to do with Nancy? Well, she might have gone out there. What for? Well, to look around. Ned, am I going to have to drag this out of you one syllable at a time? Well, you know Nancy, if she thinks there's some sort of mystery to solve. Well, don't worry. I'm going to go out there and straighten her out. That's a great comfort to me, Ned. The day she started part-time investigative work for me was the beginning of my gray hairs. The only mystery about that lighthouse is why anybody would want to buy it. Did you ever find out what that guy wanted it for? Yes, I met with Professor Wall when I was in California, and he explained it all to me. And? I still don't understand it. He's heading up some kind of psychic research foundation. Psychic? You mean as in... Uh... Ghosts, yes. <laughs> I figured I'd better close the deal in a hurry. I've been trying to unload that white elephant for old man Jensen for years. It's not often you run into a character who wants a property like that. The professor's a wacko, huh? Wacko's a little harsh, Ned. Actually, he's kind of a charming guy. Young, too. Oh, well, I'd better get out there. Ned, wait a minute. Ned, what's going on out there? Ned! <laughs> 